And they say they're yeah. not interested in politics. Well, you've got to be interested in politics. Otherwise, how? if you're not interested in politics, you're not interested in everything that makes life yeah. worth living. And the only way that you can make the country a better place for everybody, men and women, yeah. is to be involved in politics yeah. and to vote. I just, it makes me so mad. And of course, those women were so brave because often they did, they were part of the suffragette movement secretly. They didn't mm. tell their mums, their dads, their, their partners. They went off to these marches. Mm. And if they were arrested and force fed in prison, the indignity and the brutality mm. of it, I don't think we can fully mm. understand and it they today. carried on, because some of them were in prison and then released, yeah. and, and then, then they, they carried on protesting yes. and they were put back into prison. And again, you think of the strength. We talk about strong women now, but mm. my God, those women were incredible to, to, I... to keep going and keep going. And they were a minority, at the, mm. weren't they? Very much a minority. And also, um, you know, in the years leading up to the suffragette movement, uh, Queen Victoria didn't want women involved in politics, so you had a monarch who was totally yeah. anti the whole idea. I was looking at lots, you know, the arguments at the time against women voting, and uh, one said a woman's place is in the home. Going out into the rough world of politics will change her caring nature. <laughs> I, I, and also, women's rights ever since. I didn't realise this until today, but it wasn't till 1980 that women could apply for a loan or credit in their own name. Yes. Well, isn't it interesting? Yes. Yeah. Isn't yes. it interesting?